what's up? Um, I hope this like transfers so that I'm using this this setting on my camera. I didn't realize that my camera had the Terminator heat seeking sen uh, <laughs> um, fucking format. That's what it looks like to me. Either that or it's rave format. I don't know what the fuck, but I think it's fucking sweet looking. But um, I wanted to talk about uh, two strange things. that I noticed. The other day I was watching uh, a show called Inside the Mind of a Serial Killer or something like that, and they are talking about several different serial killers. They talked about Dahmer and some other people, but the, most of the show was talking about um, the BTK guy, you know, the bind, torture, kill dude from, what was that, Kansas? Uh, they killed all those women, and a large chunk of it was, was clips from his because he, he pleaded guilty in his trial, and he was just describing all of his crimes or whatever. But the people who made this show were talking that, you know, the, this guy was like, you know, to, you know, we need to know more about the mind of a serial killer so we can understand evil. You know, I'm like, you got it all wrong, man, okay? These people aren't evil, all right? Evil is when the CEO of a company secretly siphons all of the, uh, you know, all the pension money and profits off into an offshore bank account and then the day before it goes public that the company is completely bankrupt he flees the country and leaves all of his employees uh, with no money and losing all their you know life savings that's evil okay when you track down a dude and bring him to your house and drill a hole in his head and pour acid into his brain to keep him there as your zombie and then when he dies, you take some of his body parts and you save them in boxes so you can look at them later. That's crazy. Okay? There's a distinct difference. And the reason I point this out, the reason I think it's important to not call these people evil is because it gives a mis uh, misconception of, of, what, of what you're looking for. Okay? Uh, anybody can be evil. All right? Anybody can be a douchebag. Right? But not anybody is going to be a sadistic serial killer. Okay, That person has a mental illness. You know what I'm saying? So when you tell somebody, oh, that guy is evil, you know, they're going to be thinking, you know, there's no way to be able to tell who these people are, which is bullshit. And I talked about this with these, with these mass shooters or whatever. People talking about how, you know, oh, I didn't, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't have seen it coming. You know, he seemed like a totally normal guy. No. <laughs> I don't know what your definition of normal is, but normal people don't do these things. Okay, so you're going to have them looking for the wrong shit. Like, the, they were interviewing the BTK guy's pastor from his church, right? And he's like, oh, I didn't, I couldn't believe it. You know, totally great guy, totally normal. No. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm not saying that you should be expected to recognize when someone's going to be a serial killer, okay? But you should be able to recognize when somebody is that fucked up that they could be a serial killer. You see what I'm saying? So, no, no, no. BTK guy is not evil. BTK guy is crazy. He lacks empathy and feeling for other human beings, all right? Uh, and had, these people have gigantic egos as well. But, I mean, he's sitting, or, well, he wasn't sitting. He was standing in the courtroom discussing these murders as if it was no big fucking deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, you know I'd, I'd stand out and, you know, I'd, I'd found so-and-so and I, you know, I went to her house and, you know, I checked her mail to see what her name was, and then one day I just picked a day, and I went in there, and, you know, and, uh, you know, I tied her up, and she threw up, so I went and I got her a glass of water, comforted her a little bit, you know, uh, and then I strangled her. It's like, uh, <laughs> that's crazy, okay? Not evil. There's a difference. Um, the second thing that's been pissing me off is... With all this talk about Sarah Palin, I was listening to NPR, and they were talking about, you know, whether or not she has been treated unfairly by the media or whatever. 
and you know talking about sexism and it, it seems like every person has to say you know if they don't say yeah there's a little bit of sexism like they're afraid they're gonna lose their jobs okay there was no sexism involved with Sarah Palin okay Sarah Palin perceives it as sexism because she doesn't understand what sexism is or what equality is because she's saying it's sexism not because she thinks she's being treated unfairly because she's a woman she thinks she should be treated extra nice because she's just simple Miss Palin from Alaska you know what I'm saying that's what's going through her head that's why she thinks she's being treated unfairly there is no sexism no one's calling Hillary Clinton an idiot because Hillary Clinton isn't an idiot if there was sexism ah, if there was sexism involved we would be like oh Hillary Clinton's an idiot because she's a woman no 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 Hillary Clinton isn't an idiot Sarah Palin is an idiot it's not because she's a woman she's just an idiot who happens to be a woman but she goes out of her way to describe herself as you know I'm just I'm just the hockey mom or whatever that you're, you're doing a disservice to your gender and you're making women look stupid by comparison and when when a woman sits up there and says you know basically I should be treated extra nice because I'm a woman you have to sit there and wonder to yourself why why do you think that you know what I'm saying that's not right that's not what equality means okay you know and and I do I don't think it's wrong to talk about her kids I don't think it's wrong to talk about that at all why because she brought them into the situation she talks about how she's a family woman she's the soccer mom and all this shit so that means that the raising of your children you've made that an issue which means we get to discuss it okay you came into this with you should have known the reality all right you raise your daughter to be a stupid little whore okay and now your daughter is going to hate you i'd hate her because before she was just a whore in her hometown and now she's a whore to everyone okay you know you parade your little you know your retarded kid out there you know and first people are saying oh they say horrible things about the retarded kid first of all the kid's not old enough to know what's going on and second of all he won't know what the fuck anyone is saying to them anyway and why is that kid retarded it's her fault that that kid is retarded that's why we discuss it because she's so fucking incapable of running her own life that she decides she's going to get pregnant at that age and because of that irresponsibility she has a retarded kid if she can't even fucking uh, have the responsibility to not have a retarded kid when it's preventable then how are you going to be expected to run anything you know what i'm saying so no there's no there's no sexism stop 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 doing that shit stop being so pc with that just because someone says there might be some sexism doesn't mean that there's sexism okay it's not sexist to deny sexism you see what i'm saying you know it, it, the reason nobody is saying that sarah palin can't be the president or can't be whatever because she's a woman i don't have a problem with being with the with a woman being the president if hillary clinton was the president i got no problem with that i think a woman is perfectly capable of doing that job sarah palin isn't why because she's an idiot there's a distinct difference and if we can't be honest about this then we're never going to be able to deal with all these divides in our society why, why there has to be unnecessary divides between men and women, I don't understand. You know, we're not separate groups of people. We all live together. Um, but it's because of the shit that people like Sarah Palin says that there are these divides between men and women. All right. So, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, this fucking filter on my camera is fucking crazy. It's nuts. It's like, ooh. Like I expect to see, I expect to hear the predator music and to see like a fucking one of those laser bolts come and explode my head everywhere. 